On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonatus to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. This episode we are venturing back into the Elven city of Priftinas in hunt for a special type of armor. The objective of this video is to open 500 elven crystal chests, which requires the enhanced crystal key to open, with the goal of receiving any of the dragonstone armor pieces. Now even if I wish I could go for 2500 chests for a specific item, I do not have the money to get that many keys, so any piece it is. So the first thing we have to do is buy 500 crystal keys, which is going to be roughly 11 million GP, and they seem to be selling pretty quickly for the medium price, so that is very nice to see. The second thing we need to do is buy 34 enhanced crystal teleport seeds. I think this is the most efficient way of getting crystal shards if I'm going to be buying them. Collecting 5,000 of these manually would just not be a thing. So we're going to be buying 34 of these. They seem to be selling slightly below the medium price. So let's put, let's put that in. Oh, they instantly sold all of them for the medium price. Perfect. So 71 million plus like 11 million. So 81 million, roughly 82 million is the investment in this video. I actually don't know if you can turn these in noted, so I just brought most of them unnoted, but uh, let's trade Amrod right here, and they are right here. Let's buy, and then, yes, that is all of them, and I do think I do need to unnote them, unfortunately. And that is the last ones. We now have over 5,000 crystal shards, but there is actually one pretty big thing we have to do before we can make all the elven crystal keys. You can either sing the crystal key yourself right here for 10 crystal shards and one crystal key, which is what I'm going to be doing, or you can talk to Convena right here, and for 15 crystal shards, so 50% more of them, she can do it for you, even if you do not have the levels, but that is for obvious reasons way more expensive, and I'm just going to be getting 80 smithing instead, because you need 80 crafting and 80 smithing for it, and getting from 71 to 80 smithing is not that big of a requirement. So I've done some calculations, and with Blast Furnace, I think 20,848 gold ore is going to be enough with goldsmithing gauntlets to get exactly to 80 smithing, which is only 5.5 million, so let's buy that and get going with it. I think if I keep a good pace up, this should take like 3-4 to four hours to complete, so really it is not a big deal, but I haven't done this in a very long time. I did it on my group Iron Man last time, and I definitely have to get into it a bit, so maybe I should expect like 4-5 to five hours. Not quite 80, but we are getting really close, 79 smithing, and yes, as I expected, this was not the longest grind at all, I have been here for probably around 3.5 hours at this point, so should be done before 5 hours. And we are down to the last inventory right here, this is over 1.1 million smithing experience done, and uh, we are now 80 smithing, so we have all the requirements to make all the enhanced crystal keys. And perfect timing as well, we got all the keys, so I now have all the 500 ones, and I do have all the crystal shards ready as you saw before, so let's actually go and make all of them. I actually don't know if this gives any experience, let's see if it does, and let's make all of them, click on that. Oh my god, 13k in both crafting and smithing per inventory, that is actually really good. So I have like 100 keys left and I did hit 84 crafting during this and I'm about to hit 81 smithing and just look at the experience rates on doing this. It's like 2 million experience together an hour and uh, yeah, that is now 81 smithing as well from just making the keys. That is some free levels right there. The last ones have been made and we now have a grand total of 500 enhanced crystal keys. So let's go over to the chest and start opening these bad boys. Before we actually start opening the chests, I do want to talk about the loot of the Elven Crystal chest. The average opening costs me 109k, and each reward from the chest on average is worth 53k. So we're pretty much going to be losing half of everything we've actually spent on this. On top of that, this chest is extremely confusing when it comes to loot. There are a bunch of different possibilities, up to 15 different possibilities of loot that you can get. But actually landing on the Dragonstone armor table, getting any of the pieces that I want for this challenge, 
is a 1 in 500, which is why I got 500 keys. As I've already spent all the money and effort making all the 500 keys, I will of course open all of them even if I get the Dragonstone item really early on and I win the challenge. All of them is also on the collection log, so getting any of them or multiple of them is going to be super nice because this is one of the hardest collection logs to finish. Besides me obviously only having 500 keys and it being really easy to track that way, you can click check on this and it says you have never opened the crystal chest and if I open one first one here and we get some random stuff, it will say that I have now opened one of them. You have opened the crystal chest once, if I click again, it is going to say two times. But let's go ahead and raise this counter from two times all the way to 500 and see if we can manage to get a dragonstone item. Well, it seems like I definitely cannot bring 14 keys, so I'm going to head to the bank and probably bring only 10 or 9 keys at a time. That was a really good inventory. Seeing 22 crystal shards and also getting a dragon plate skirt, that's a good amount of money and also getting a lot of shards back is super nice. I wonder how many shards I will end up back with from the 5k that I used. One thing I do want to mention is that just like the normal crystal chest in Taverly, you always get one uncut dragonstone from opening this chest and that is really good for Iron Man because if you are collecting a lot of them, you can make glories or ring of wealth and then you can use those at the fountain of rune to charge up a lot of them and especially glories because you always have that chance of getting the eternal glory and generally when you do want to get that from the fountain of rune on an iron man you want to have a bunch of them and just run back and forth so you don't have like 10 of them you recharge them and then you have to uncharge them manually every time we're now two keys away from the 100 mark, one-fifth of the way there. Let's open the last two ones and get that 100 mark. And all the loot that I've got from the keys so far is on the screen. 5.2 million, meaning each key is 52,000, so pretty much almost exactly on the rate. But no Dragonstone armor, no uncut onyx or any of those super rares just yet. Oh, very nice. Another roll on the dragon table, which is a 1 in 256 for a specific item, and uh, that is the shield left half. Not worth too much, 65k compared to the dragon plate skirt, but uh, pretty nice to get uniques. So meanwhile, I'm opening some of these chests in the background. I do want to give a quick shout out to a video I saw meanwhile researching a bit for this video, which was loot from 20,000 enhanced crystal keys. The video was made by Mr. No Sleep, and he actually completed the entire Dragonstone set in 6,764 keys. Now, to put that into perspective, that is 737 million GP spent on just the keys to get all those five collection log slots completed. And maybe he was a bit unlucky, or maybe he was lucky, I'm not sure honestly, but still, on rate for him, he was spending 150 million GP for every single slot that was filled in the collection log, which is why I think this is definitely one of the hardest ones to do. Of course, if you just have a ton of money, it's not that big of a deal, but getting in the beginning 700 million GP that you can spend on 5 collection log slots, yeah, not a lot of people can do that. It has been a while and we are now three keys away from the halfway point and this time I will actually show the correct loot on the screen so let's open three of them and here you go this is the loot from 250 elven crystal chest halfway to the mark as I said and uh, it is not looking great so far for this challenge but I would love to see a dragonstone item just for the pop-up it's just such a cool item to have.
because you can only bring like 10 keys before your inventory is full and actually usually less than that before you get a full inventory this process has been very slow just running to the bank back and forth all the time with a few keys but we are now three keys away from 400 so we're getting actually really close to the end of this grind and we have not seen any of the Dragonstone items. That is the 400 mark. And the loot is on the screen right now. Nearly 20 million GP. And uh, pretty close to 1000 crystal shards. Which is nice. And we also got 14 crystal acorns. Which I think each is a decent amount of crystal shards. Like 10 to 20 or something like that. So yeah. We're definitely getting some crystal shards back. But uh, not near that 5k mark. And about your inventory getting full very quickly, yeah, that is actually happening quite a lot, I'm sure you've seen it already. Oh, let's go! We actually got a Dragonstone item! We got the plate legs as well, right after I got Dragon Blade legs as well, kind of funny there. But uh, 441 chests, and we have the plate legs. We won the challenge, and look at those. They actually look so good. I can imagine, like, I guess skillers can't use them because you need a defense level, but uh, for a skilling outfit, they definitely look good. And let's have a look at the collection log as well. There we go. One of the slots completed. And I'm pretty sure you can get duplicates. So I could definitely get another pair of legs in the last remaining keys. Even though it is very unlikely that we get another piece overall. But uh, super nice that we actually won this challenge. And we did see one of those awesome looking items. But of course we have 59 keys more to go. So let's see if we can get another item in these keys. But here we are, down to the last 13 keys, and the inventory will definitely get full during these openings, but uh, these are the last ones. We are after this, done with 500 keys opened, and of course, this is just a winning stretch because we already got the Dragonstone plate legs, so I will get to keep everything, but even if I do keep everything, I will have lost a good amount of money. I think I spent 80 million, I guess 85 million with all the smithing supplies as well for 80 smithing, and, uh, well, we're going to be making not that much back. I will show you guys in just a second here. And the last key is going to be nothing too special. The loot is on screen right now, 26.6 million. And we are going to head back to the GE and sell these plate legs and see what they go for. On top of that, we got 1056 crystal shards, which is worth quite a bit. But I'm not going to be selling them. I'll just keep them for my crystal armor. Now, the interesting part about Dragonstone armor is that it's not really useful for anything, so people are not really buying this, but on top of that, it is a really, really rare item, so it is worth a decent amount of money. It's only bought and sold one time every one hour, according to the GE tracker, but what I'm going to do, as you can see, it says is actively traded a bit over the medium price. I think I'm just going to put it at like 1.9 million and look at this in a couple of hours or something like that and see if it actually sold. It has now been two and a half hours since I put the offer in, and unfortunately they have not sold yet, so I think it is not really worth waiting too much longer on this item. I don't even know if it's going to sell at all, so I guess I'm just going to actually like kind of lowball it right now. I'll put it in for 1.6 million, and it is not even selling for that, so you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and try to insta-sell this. This might not be the best idea, but I'll try to sell it for like even below the medium price which it should really instantly sell for, but they are traded so infrequently. But there we go, it's actually sold for 1.569k, so a bit over the medium price, but not by much. Now before we end the video, I do want to say that usually I have the giveaway that I did from my last episode if I did lose the challenge at the beginning of the episode, just after my intro, and I felt like it took too long sometimes to get into the actual content, so right after this clip, me doing the outro, I will have the clip instead of the previous giveaways. But with that said, if you did like the episode, please leave a like to help the video get pushed in the algorithm, subscribe if you want to be notified when I do post episodes, and until next time guys, take care. Last video we had a giveaway of 10.5 million GP from the Brutal Black Dragons, we had 823 entries, so let's see who is going to be the winner of this giveaway. 
the winner is JD Stibbs. Can't believe how long I've slept on this series, been working through the backlog, and there's just seemingly always more videos to watch. Great content as always. Massive shout out to you and grats on the win. And here he is, the man himself. Burst then, congrats again on the 10.5 million GP giveaway. And thanks for all the support on the series.